All right, guys. Um, I'm not gonna get into specifics about brands and all that because this video will be, you know, 40 minutes long. But I'm gonna show you what I got in my tackle bag, what I carry with me when I go on the boat and whatnot. Um, 5.4 ounces, 23 inches. All right, let's get into it. This first bag. Let's Got spike it. It's just a garlic scent. It's a dye. A scale. It's a must. Got some extra braid. Oil and lubricants for my reels. Fishing license. It's a must. Dude wipes. Extra batteries for the scale. That's a guaranteed must. Okay, get into my boxes. In this one, all I got is just weights and all different types of good goodies. No shaky heads. Um, hook size, you just stick to four out. Um, bobber stoppers, weight stoppers, tungsten and weights, one ounce. I got them three eighths of an ounce. Wacky hooks. Always need some of those. Ooh, a couple, I guess you could say a couple wacky rings. As you can tell, I like to fish the wacky. Some jig heads, nothing major. I gotta stock up on some hooks actually. Next box. A lot of spinner baits, buzz baits. You know, four bladed spinner baits. A little top water action. Swim baits. You know, get these off of eBay. They're pretty cheap. They actually catch pretty good fish too. This uh, this bigger one here, that's also an eBay, and the blue one, it's a Lucky Tackle Box. All this other stuff, hooks and stuff, it's stuff I never use. I mean, catch bluegills and stuff like that. Um, I mainly fish bass. That's all I stick to, or salt water. And when I go salt water fish, I'm I'm trying to get something to eat. Uh, snappers, barracuda, stuff like that. Here's my top water box. Now, as you're gonna see here, I'm a fan of frog fishing. Lots of frogs in that box. I got the longer, but my favorite frogs are the striking sexy frogs. And I got, I believe this was a booyah popper. A lot of striking sexy frogs in there. Live target. Field mice. Um, some swim baits. Small, small swim jigs for when I go out to the pond. You know, I do a lot of pond fishing when I'm too lazy to go out on the boat. Jigs. Black and blue jigs. You know. These are, you know, for flipping and punching mats. One ounce. More striking frogs, and I get them. I get two of them. You know, each color I try to. Um, as you can see by this one, this one's been beat up. Uh, I lost count how many bass I pulled with this last spring. Um, 
I actually caught about a six and a half pounder off a little pond. Uh, another tungsten white. Alright, let's go into my, um, my cranking box. Here I got a lot of crankbaits, jigs, you know, strike king square bills. You know, here's a smaller version. Repla, jerk bait, this square bill here, you know, the, the cheap brand of Walmart is $1.96 or something like that. Ooh, that's some sharp hooks. A little top water action. Nice little popper. Some jerk baits. More square bills and rattle traps. That's a strike in there. More. I don't throw the rattle trap too too often. Caught a couple of fish. All, all these baits caught fish, you know. Some get more time in the water than others. This is a Bass Pro Shop, you know. Sometimes if uh, it's a lot of cover and stuff, I'm scared of getting hung up. I throw these cheaper baits. Doesn't hurt as much. Mm -hmm. Lose them. Here's a bigger one. Rattle trap. These are you know Walmart dollar ninety eight. I got some expensive ones in there. Like this guy, he's like 12 bucks. He actually makes noise. It's nice. I believe I got this one in the Lucky Tackle Box. Swim baits. Chatter baits. Oops. There's a black one. You know, I like to put on my spinner baits and all that stuff. I like to switch up the colors. It doesn't have to match. I believe I catch bigger fish when I mix it all up. There's a white one. These little poppers, really cheap, off of eBay. Got like ten of them for like four dollars. And jigs. I got football jigs. I uh, love, I love that peanut butter color jelly. There's another one. This is more of a finesse, lightweight. Swim jig, strike king. Um, just, just a massive, massive jigs. I mean, when I first started off with the jigs, you know, I started with the cheap versions. Which I recommend that because you're gonna lose quite a bit of them. Just another punch mats and a flipping jig. Alright. Put that to the side. Inside the bag. Soft plastics. I got the inside of a lucky tackle box. To look really nice. Um, in here I got a lot of swim baits, Strike King, you know, stick baits, Senkos. Got a little bit of everything. You know, some super flukes, seven inch. Go we'll catch those big boys. I mean, endless, endless amount of soft plastics. My wife says I have a problem. So um, I'll go on YouTube and I watch your guys' videos and it makes me feel good about myself. Just all different types of brand. Oh look, there's a buzz bait. There's a striking buzz bait there. I lost my buzz bait. This is three bladed. You see the you guys already seen the, the new crank deep diving crank baits I bought, so those are those right there. There's my duff fish finder raid sonar. Couple others I want to put on my deck. 
And here is this, my go-to soft plastics. I got super flukes, all different colors. I mean, you name it, there's a glare. I own it. Lizards, more Senkos, Strike King, different colors. I got to stock up on them. I had, I had three of these pouches for and I put like four or five packs in them. Um, 10 inch, 10 inch worms. Little top water frogs. Five inch swim baits. I throw those a lot. More lizards. And every time you watch one of those videos of me hooking up with the bass is what I'm filming with. Um, I got a family and kids. I can't afford a GoPro yet. It's a lot of rent. And it's a lot of money for a simple camera. $55 to me. Damn good quality for $54. Um, next video I'm going to do will be of my fishing rods. Uh, and I believe in my garage I got over 30 fishing rods. But I'm only going to do the fishing rods that I use for fresh water. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.